now what is the scarcity paradigm? The scarcity paradigm is the feeling that there isn't enough. There isn't enough for everybody. There's not enough food, there's not enough money, there are not enough resources to make everybody happy and wealthy. And it seems that if we look at the world today, where billions of people are still living on one or two dollars a day, that we see this global poverty, we see this global scarcity. And if we look at history, it seems we've always been fighting against the lack. We've always been fighting against poverty. We've been fighting against famine. We've been fighting against disease and war. And throughout our history, human beings have lived in this situation of scarcity. Now, there's an argument that maybe thousands of years ago, people didn't really have such a sense of scarcity, that the sense of scarcity really comes from the Industrial Revolution, where we started competing with each other and people always wanted more. Perhaps in the old days or in the Middle Ages, people were satisfied with what they had. And now that we're less satisfied, there is a deeper sense of scarcity. But whether it's something that has existed for a few hundred years or something that has existed for a few thousand years, the scarcity mindset, the scarcity paradigms seems ever present. And if you imagine that there's a situation of scarcity, then how should we react to that? You will see that people will compete for scarce resources. There is not enough to go around for everybody. So you make sure that you get enough for yourself. You use your elbows to push other people aside. You make sure that you get what is yours. And if other people don't get stuff, then that's their problem. So there is a world of competition. There is a world of desire. There is a world of frustration, of never feeling that you have enough. And that seems to be the main sense in our world. But scarcity is then a difference between what you have and what you want. And what you have is little, and what you want is really quite large. And so you could define scarcity very simply as a big inequality between your needs, which are large, and what you have, which is very small.